How to transfer videos from iPhone to PC is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True True Tucker channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'd love to hear 100,000 subscribers very, very soon, hopefully. And then go and hit the like button as well. I really do appreciate that. Let's try and aim for 100 likes on this video. So essentially today, I'm going over transferring videos or photos for that matter to your computer from your iPhone. It's a very, very simple tutorial and I'm showing you different methods as well because I know not one method always works for everybody so showing you different types of software you can use different types of programs to allow for you to transfer these videos and photos so if you find it useful make sure you keep watching and yeah make sure you check out all methods as well because they're all different for different people let's jump straight into this video so now let's get into the first method of being able to transfer videos from iPhone to laptop so the first you want to do is open up the App Store and we simply need to go and get a quick app um, and it's really easy to get you want to come to search and all you want to search is Google Drive. So you've probably heard of Google Drive, but in fact, there is an iPhone app which we can utilize from transferring videos to our computer. So as you can see, here it is. All you want to do is go and download it. I've already got my phone. Uh, the app is 190 megabytes, and yeah, go and download it. Once you download it, I'll show you the next step. So as you can see, here is Google Drive. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go and open it up. Now, but when you first open it up, you'll need to go and log into a Google account. So I'm currently on my Google account. As you can see, there are no files here. Now, the first thing you want to do is go and click the plus. Now, you've got a few options here. Now, if you're transferring a lot of data, you've already got stuff here. I would really advise making a folder. It just allows you to organize your data. It just allows you to organize your files and also you get 15 gigabytes of free storage I believe and you can pay to get more now 15 gigabytes should be absolutely plenty if it says you run out simply delete some or something like that so all I'm going to do is name this iPhone transfer as that's what this is for transferring videos um, so let's go and type that in there and then go click create and as you can see folder created so then I'm going to come along to the far right on the bottom click on the folder icon as you can see here is my folder I'm going to click into this now you can see no files in this folder and let's go and add some files to do that you simply want to click the plus and then go and click upload and here it's going to say photos and videos so click on there and you're going to have to give permission so I'm going to click allow access to all photos and now it should load up my images as you can see just to quickly note, in the video I do use photos, but this is the exact same process for using videos. It may just take a bit longer to upload, but yeah, I just had to quickly add this in. I've got some images here, and I'm going to select the ones I want to upload. So I have some random photos here, so I'm going to select them, just a few. I'll, I'll upload these four, then click upload. And then this is going to upload them, so this will depend on your internet speeds, uh, on how long it's going to take. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to upload them, um, but they're fairly, fairly small photos. As you can see, it's nearly finished and we should have four. As you can see, all there. Now, if we come back to here, we'll list them here as well once we refresh it. Um, just drag down to refresh, and as you can see, we've got the images here. And if we come out of here, we could go and create another folder as well if you've got other photos you wanted to move. So the next step is to come on your computer and then simply come and search up Google Drive, just like so. So once I type it in, just like so, uh, then click enter. As you can see, I actually spelled it wrong. And all you wanna do is come and click up here, cloud storage at work and home, click there. And then all you want to do is go to drive and uh, it'll take a minute to load and wait for it to load and then make sure you go and change um, to the Google account which you use on your iPhone so I'm going to go and do that now and it should should now take us there as you can see here are the images so then I can go open up the folder and this is also tells you how much storage I've used I've got other stuff as well like Gmail so that also is affected by that anyway I'm going to come open the folder uh, double click as you can see I've now got all of these here now to download them, all you want to do is simply drag and you'll get this selector and then all you want to do is draw over all of them and then you want to go and click on this little um, three dots here and then all you want to do is click download. Now as you can see, it's putting it into a zip file for you um, to make it easier and compress the download and you've got to wait for that and as you can see, it then goes and downloads the zip file. To open that up, you can have a program like WinRAR and to open them up, then you click on it and it'll take a minute to load. And as you can see, I've now got these four files here. And then you can simply go and open these up. Now this will work exactly the same with videos. I just did it with pictures just to show that it's just as easy. And yeah, this is this method finished. Now let's jump into the next one. So let's jump straight into the second method. Now to do this, all you want to do is have your iPhone or any of your Apple devices and get its USB cable to lightning or whatever the connection is for your phone and maybe USB-C now and then all you want to do is plug it into your computer regardless if it's Mac or computer uh, or PC sorry this will work absolutely fine 
So the next step you want to do is simply go up to your file explorer and you'll need to have basically enabled all file permissions on your phone. Um, if they pop up saying like allow access, make sure you click allow access. Then you want to just come to this PC and as you can see here, devices and drives, I've got Apple iPhone. All you want to do is double click on it and then it's going to have internal storage. Then DCIM, click in there. And then you've got these different folders. Now, in these different folders, you've got this is all where your images and videos are stored. So they all vary and they're all different dates. Like for example, it'll take a minute to load as well. All you want to do is just simply go through these and find um, the images. So I believe 105 is the most recent ones, as you can see, and you have to scroll down and it will take a minute to load them all. And often it puts videos um, with the dot move. So you'll find those as you can see. Then if you wanted to go and download them, you simply have to go and find it. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find the ones I would like. Uh, so for example, if I wanted this picture here, then what you want to do is go and click, click it, then click copy, and then you can go and paste it wherever you'd like. So yeah, it's actually really, really easy. One of the easiest ways, for example, I'm going to close this now, I'm going to right click it, and then I can go and paste it where I'd like, for example, here, control V, uh, or paste like you could do before. Then you can double click it, and boom, you've got your image there. It's so, so easy and then you can go and use it. So, and then you can go and do whatever you'd like with it. Now let's jump into the next step of another tutorial of being able to go and move images on videos to your computer. So the final method is actually only gonna apply if you have a Mac. So to do this, what you wanna do is open up your photos folder and then select the images you want to move. So I've got these few here, so I'm gonna select these three and then I'm gonna go transfer these by clicking the little um, square with an arrow coming out of it in the bottom left, click there and it'll take a minute to load and as you can see you can use airdrop now airdrop is only available for devices um which are apple so as you can see i've currently not got a like, computer open but if you've got a computer open and you're in the same wi-fi network you can select there as you can see i've got one person come up there um, and you can go and click there and it's going to transfer the photos to that computer it works really well and i recommend it it's a good method but like I said, this only works for Mac and also, yeah, it's pretty fast. So that was the video of how to transfer videos from iPhone to PC. I hope you have found it very, very useful. It took me a while to make and to find all of the different methods. So please do support this video by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because I update this video hopefully in the future. So make sure you keep watching as well. I just want to quickly outro this video. And if there are any other tutorials, make sure you do check out the channel as I cover so many different tutorials. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a very, very awesome day and I look forward to catch you in the next video. Peace out.